What is going on everybody? It is your boy Nothing But Skills and today I'm bringing you guys another division video. Today's video is going to be focused on how to get the mask fast, easy, quick. You guys should be able to knock these out pretty quick. Only mask you'll probably have trouble with is if you don't have the DLC, but we'll get into that in just a second. Remember guys, if you guys enjoy any of my videos, make sure you guys always hit that thumbs up. If you guys have any questions, use the comment section down below. And if you're new to my channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell on so when I do release a video, you guys get notified. Also, if you ever want to watch me live, you can head over to Twitch it's twitch.tv forward slash nothing but skills and that's where I play my builds live and not only do I play the division I play h1z1 I play god of war I play a little bit of Fortnite here and there so if you ever want to catch me live playing video games ask me questions on there that is a great way to interact with me so let's get into this you guys want to know how to get the mask fast and easy as you guys can see I have one of the masks on I have two of the three I just need to finish the third one but that's an easy one and I'll explain to you guys how to get that so before we break down how to get each mask I just kind of want to show you each mask real quick i have two of the three so let me show you those real quick we're going to go to my inventory we're going to go to my appearances and then i'm going to zoom in for you so this is going to be the only mask it's okay looking i'm not a big fan of it but it's decent and then we have the ember mask so you can take a look at that one right here definitely not one of my favorites so probably not going to wear either one of these but i just want to show you what they look like And the final mask I haven't unlocked. So let's see how we can get the mask. We're going to go into the accommodations. We're going to go down to GE Onslaught. And then you're going to see I have two masks unlocked. So the first mask I have unlocked right here is the Oni mask. The second mask is the Ember mask. And then the third mask, which I haven't fully unlocked yet, is the Smiler mask. But let's see how you can unlock each. So for the Oni mask, you need to burn 200 enemies. You need to bleed 200 enemies and gas 200 enemies during Onslaught event. Now this has to be done on World Tier 5. It can't be done on a lower tier, but you don't have to do this in a playlist. So we'll get into exactly how I get this mask in just a second. The next mask is going to be the Ember mask. And this is kill five enemies in a row with the effect they are vulnerable to. To get this one, you do have to pay a playlist and you do have have to be in world tier 5 but you can do it on hard difficulty above I recommend doing it on a hard difficulty and then I'll explain to you in just a second how you can get this one and then the final mask we have never enough this is complete all events in the onslaught playlist so if you guys don't know there are five missions on the onslaught playlist we have Warren Gate power plant we have police academy which you see I already completed we have Bravo Emporium and then we have Russian consulate and then we have the incursion stolen signal now the incursion stolen signal that is a DLC in Incursion. So if you don't have the DLCs, you won't be able to get this mask. I'm going to show you where each mission is for this mask. Since I don't have this one done, this is the final one I need to do. So for the Smiler mask, we're going to go into the map. You need to complete Russian Consulate. You need to complete Police Academy, Warren no Gate, Broadway Emporium, and then the Incursion Take Stolen Signal. We'll now, if you don't have the DLC, you won't have this unlocked. But the cool thing about this is you can do this on challenging. You don't have to do it on heroic. And then all the other missions, you should be able to do them on hard. Like Browery Emporium, you can do it on hard. Police Academy, you can do it on hard. Warren Gate Power Plant, you can do it on hard. And then Russian Consulate, you can do it on hard. Those are really simple for you guys to complete. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to talk about how you can unlock Ember Mask. This is kill five enemies in a row with the effect they are vulnerable to. So what I want you guys to notice is I have a shield build on. And on the left hand corner of how many bullets I have, it has a flame. So that means that I'm going to be hitting the NPCs with flame bullets. Now, if I hit the reload button, you're going to see it changes to bleed. So the, that's a bleed symbol right there. And then if I hit reload again, you're going to see I have the gas symbol. So, so what you need to do is when you're doing this mask is when the symbol pops above their head that they're vulnerable to, that's the one you need to switch to. So maybe you shoot one bullet, you hit reload, or you just reload till you get it. And then you finish them off, you reload, and you keep doing it. I'm going to show you a clip of me and how I just completed it. So if you pay attention to this clip, what you, one thing you're going to notice is I switch to the damage that I need to switch to. And then I find the NPC, which has the symbol above his head. If you look at this NPC right here, he has a damage symbol that I need to find. So I match that up with the damage on my weapon, and then I melt him. And then what I do is I look for the next NPC who has the same damage. So what you want to do is 
if you can find two gas knock out those two gas or if you have to reload switch to the other guy that you need to and remember one key tip you can always just reload if you want to get back to that burn if you want to get back to that bleed or get back to that gas it's probably one of the easier masks to get besides completing the playlist you should be able to knock out all these masks in about an hour except for the incursion you need to be able to complete that one that's going to take you a little bit longer but you should be able to get both masks and then work on the final mask which is complete the playlist And now what we're going to do is we're going to get into the final mask. So we're going to go back to our accommodations. We're going to go back to GE Onslaught. And then we're going to look at the Oni mask, which is full house. Burn 200 enemies, bleed 200 enemies, and gas 200 enemies. And the only condition is do this on World Tier 5. So what I recommend you guys doing is first completing the playlist if you really want to get the mask fast. But if you're impatient and you just want to knock out the mask first and worry about the playlist later, well, you can go to my favorite mission to knock out most of these masks when you have to get a lot of kills, and that's Clear Sky. And all you have to do is put clear sky on leave it on world tier 5 put on challenging and then run forward and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what I did pretty much my game plan was I had my shield out and I can just keep mowing down the enemies I didn't even worry about reloading all I did is I, I tried to put out as much damage as possible to an NPC if I could kill him as soon as I killed him I shot started shooting another NPC then I would reload shoot him and one thing that I'm gonna tell you guys don't worry if you're doing burn damage bleed damage or gas damage you're gonna get this so all I would focus on is just killing as many NPCs as possible and before you know it you get it now once you get closer to the end and you need like five kills and burn or one kill and bleed well then maybe there you could focus on getting those five kills and then getting that one kill but until you get close to the very end that's the only time you should worry about how many more kills you need remember it's 200 and burn 200 and bleed and 200 in gas. This is probably the easiest place to do it. Just set up shop, you can get in the corner, the NPCs will keep coming to you. As long as you don't plant the bomb, the NPCs will keep spawning in and spawning in and just keep coming towards you. And you can just keep knocking this out. I feel like the best build to finish all these masks is running my D3 build. If you haven't watched my D3 build, I'm gonna put a link to it down below in the description box. It's probably one of my favorite PVE builds to run now. I've been running it a lot. I've even ran it in the PVP a little bit because it's one of those builds that's pretty fun to do and then especially if you run against those shotgun strikers and you have a team you can help out your team by taking the damage giving them the health boost and hopefully they can put out the damage if you guys have any question on how to knock out any of these masks let me know in the comment section what i'll do is i'll finish off this video with my d3 build if you guys have any questions on that d3 build let me know so if we break down the build we're going to go into the chest piece it's rolled stamina it has health it has enemy armor damage and it has ammo capacity like i tell you in a lot of my builds is you always want to have enemy armor damage because as you start doing those challenging legendary missions and those heroic incursions you're going to notice that a lot of the npcs have a lot of armor and stacking more enemy armor damage is going to help you melt through that armor for the mods i'm running stamina mods with skill haste so the reason why i'm stacking skill haste on here is because i want to be able to get my ballistic shield back in case it does go down a lot faster and then whatever my second skill that i plan on using since i do run this build a lot in resistance solo i feel that having the skill haste is going to help you get your skills back a lot quicker and you're going to see how fast i can get my shield back and how fast i can get my secondary skill back for the mask it has firearms the major attribute is skill power and then the minor attribute is damage to elites so that's another thing you want to stack on all your pve builds is damage to elites so anytime you fight those elite enemies so that's gold enemies or above you will get that additional damage so having a lot of damage to elite stacked on your build is going to help you drop those elite enemies a lot faster and then one thing you're going to want to do throughout this build is stack skill power because you want to hit the minimum threshold of 121 to 125 to max out your shield to reach that 121 to 125 skill power you're going to have to stack skill power on at least three pieces of your gear set for the mods i'm running a stamina mod with three percent skill haste for the knee pads, the road stamina, the major attribute is skill power. So this is the second piece that I'm going to roll skill power on there. And then for the minor attributes, I have shock, damage to elites, and bleed resistance. I would like to have burn instead of shock. And then, of course, you want to have damage to elites on your knee pads because that's an additional 12%. So you stack that with your mask, and we're already at 24% damage to elites. 
For the backpack, it's rolled stamina. The major attribute is skill power, and the minor attribute is disrupt resistance. For the mods, I'm running stamina mods with skill haste, and the skill haste, like I told you before, is to get my skills back a little bit quicker. And then for the performance mods, I'm stacking 5% ballistic shield damage resilience. And then once I finish stacking ballistic shield damage resilience throughout this whole build, you're gonna see how much ballistic shield damage I have. For the gloves, the rolled stamina, the major attributes are enemy armor damage, critical hit chance, and SMG damage. Now, if you didn't want to have critical hit chance on here, you could put something like health on kill but since I'm gonna be running an SMG I felt like let me stack an additional 6% critical hit chance on here I'm gonna hit the NPCs a little bit harder of course you want to have enemy armor damage and then SMG damage since that's gonna be my primary when I'm using my shield for the last piece we're gonna have the holster this is where you're gonna want to stack skill haste on here because you're gonna want to take the benefit of getting as much skill haste on this build as you can since we're not putting skill haste on the gloves or on the chest piece we could put the additional 7% skill haste on the holster and that's gonna help me get my skills back a little bit quicker since I am stacking skill haste on all my mods. For the performance mod, we're gonna have the 5% ballistic shield damage resilience. Also, I forgot to mention on the mods on the knee pad, we're running stamina mods with skill haste, and then of course we're running 5% ballistic shield damage resilience. So that's an additional 20% total ballistic shield damage resilience on this build. So before we break down the weapons, let's go into the skills so I can show you the ballistic shield. So the shield I'm using is the base ballistic shield because remember, once you have the four piece, it eliminates you having any of these mods. You do get the master self healing armor, which is after a short time without taking any damage, the shield slowly repairs itself to full health. So that's the only mod you're gonna have. And that's because of the four piece. You no longer get these mods, you only get the master mod. So that's that self healing armor. If we look at the basic shield or the master shield, they're gonna be the same. So the total health I have on this is going to be 2,350,000 heal points. My damage is going to be increased by 10%. So that damage is including when I shoot my SMG. The damage resistance is going to be 45%. Now my threat increase is 200%. So that means that the NPCs are going to focus their damage towards me. Now if you look at me having my skill haste, it's going to let me get my ballistic shield back every 24 seconds. If I didn't have that, it would take a lot longer. If I didn't have that skill haste on there, you can see it would be 41 seconds. So I'm cutting that in almost half by just having skill haste on this build. And then with my talents, it might come back even faster. I personally, when I'm running solo, I like pairing that up with a support station. And the one I've been using is the ammo cache, just depending on what I'm doing. If I'm doing resistance, I definitely use the ammo cache. And this is gonna come back every 26 seconds. So you can see the regular cooldown time on this is 38 seconds, but because of my skill haste, it's coming back every 26 seconds. If we go into the guns that I'm using, I'm running a house. This SMG is not fully optimized, so the critical hit chance on here is 21.5 percent the base damage is 17.2k and that's with only running firearms of 4100 the talents i want to use on this build since i am running only 4000 firearms and i'm running 9000 stamina is predatory so every time i do kill a target it's going to regenerate my health for 35 percent of that health over 20 seconds now since i'm running 9000 stamina that's going to be a lot of health that's why running a house that has predatory on it works really good with this build because you're taking a lot of damage and once you kill an npc you're automatically healing yourself and you never have to even run a heal now if you want to run an overdose you can also i always like running destructive on my pve builds armor destruction value is increased by 15 percent when using this weapon so i'm going to get an additional 15 percent enemy armor damage when i run the house and then of course the final talent on the house is card counter the way i have this house modded is i'm running a pro red dot site with critical hit damage critical hit chance and headshot damage allow them break with critical hit damage critical hit chance and headshot damage i stack that with a small grip that has critical hit damage reload speed and optimal range an extended magazine with magazine size critical hit chance and rate of fire the next thank you guys again for all the support make sure you guys hit the subscribe button if you guys are new to my channel hit the thumbs up if you like this video and as always guys if you don't see me in last stand if you don't see me skirmish if you don't see me in the dark zone it's only a matter of time nothing but skills is out